it's time for another JavaScript aside. We just saw something really amazing. We just put the variable name dollar sign $scope in our function as a parameter to be passed to it, and it suddenly appeared. That's what sometimes makes it feel like we don't understand and can't learn AngularJS, because it does things that one might say, well, that's just amazing, and we just move on. But we really want to understand it. That lowers the barrier to being able to use AngularJS and also makes it less intimidating. So this fundamental concept of passing things to controllers, and we're going to see more of this, how does it work? Well, to understand that, we need to understand a quick thing about functions and strings in JavaScript. So I'm back to my app and controller, and I'm just going to get rid of everything I had added to the controller. And we're going to show something really interesting. So let's suppose, just completely outside of the controller, I'm going to create a new function. Let's say I call it search people. And that function is going to have a bunch of parameters. I might want to search by first name, by last name, by height, by age, um, and who knows what else, by occupation, etc. Now we're not going to actually going to write this function, but we have this function sitting there. Now, instead of just declaring it, I'm actually going to set it as a variable. That might make this a little bit clearer. So I have a search people function. And then I'm going to log it to the console. And let's suppose right now that inside it I just return Jane Doe. If I invoke the function, that is actually run the function by calling it with parentheses and you know just some empty, um, meaningless data right now, and refresh, it gives me back the result of the function. But let's suppose I output or console.log just search people. Whoa, wait a minute. What just happened? It actually returned to me a string, the entire function itself typed out. All right, so I could do this like this search people string. If I just set it to search people, it'll be the function. But if I go to string and output search people string, same thing. So you can take a function in JavaScript and convert it to a string. Think about that for a second. That means that if I can take any function in JavaScript and get its string representation, that is the, the function actually typed out the way the coder typed it out, then this is just a string. I could parse or do some, some, some fancy coding to break apart this string and figure out what the names of the expected parameters are to the function. So I can then make a decision based on what I see. And that's exactly what Angular does. So how does Angular do dependency injection? So I'm going to show you something that you probably will never, ever need to actually use, but it's good to know what's happening. So Angular is this object, right, that's created all part of that angular.js file. And it has an injector with a method called annotate. And I'm going to pass it my function search people. Actually, let's console.log this so you can see it. So this feature inside of Angular, I can pass it a function. And let's see what I get. Wow, look at that. It parsed the string and created an array 
one for each parameter, the name of the parameters that the function expre uh, expects. So if you think about it, if a function contains a certain name, that Angular says, hey, I know that name. I know that if I see that, I should create an object and pass that object in that spot to that method. That means I could actually put it wherever I wanted in the function. And AngularJS's code would simply say, hey, there it is, and I'll pass it right there. I'll inject it, dependency injection. I'll pass this object that I create to that spot in the function. And that's what happens here, up in the controller. So if I console.log the scope, you can see that this scope object was created and passed to the controller function because Angular looked at the controller function, parsed out what its parameters were, and realized, hey, one of those is scope. So I'm going to create scope and inject it, pass it to the function. This is extremely powerful. This means that all you have to do is put the name of the variable correctly, the name of the object correctly in your function, and you'll get it. Scope is a service that's a part of the core Angular modules, but there are others as well, and they also can get passed to your function simply by putting them in the list. So this is an incredibly powerful feature and really saves us a lot of time and also makes our code more testable, more verifiable, uh, more stable. And that's what AngularJS's structure is doing for you.